Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's Marvelous Design course, we will learn about wind control and light control. To uh, see the wind and light controls, you have to first turn them on. And you can do that by clicking this button here, oh, environment display. And here you have light control and wind control first. And also 3D shadow and uh, uh, 3D shadow on grid. This is very self-explanatory. You can uh, work on your own, I hope. So let's check the light controller. So if I click on the light controller, as soon as I will do that, it will show me the light. And you can now easily control the light intensity from here. Brighter or like a le more brighter, less brighter. So totally up to you. And light angle also, you can change it the way you want it. I don't know why it's not changing. Maybe it's just locked or something. Okay, but yeah, you can move it basically also wherever you want. And just like that. Intensity, I'm not sure why it's not changing. To change, but it's not changing for some reason. So that's what it is about the light controller and here we have a ambience light down here and this is yeah so you can click on that ambience down that will control the light uh actual this is the basically your target yeah so this is the target of the light and you can move wherever you want and then light angle it also can change it got the point so I will keep it as it is. So I don't want to confuse you all. So I will turn off the light controller now and I will turn on the wind controller. As soon I will turn on the wind controller. Here is the wind controller. Wind controller by default is off. So you have to turn it on by clicking on it and activating it. When you activate it, then you can start simulation. Press space bar on your keyboard or click that okay now there is one thing we have to turn it off is the pressure point okay yeah so now you can see this is the direction of the vent it is going to the left direction sorry right direction and it's blowing the clothes to the right you can move this basically wherever i want and i can move the direction of it So, pretty much self-explanatory, the direction of your lights, uh, of your uh, uh, wind. Okay. So that I'm not, so I don't want to uh, change it more. So let's see uh, what kind of... Uh, event option or like uh, properties we have we have type right now this is planar like it's like a flat and going in one direction if i will change it to spherical so it will go in omni direction it will go all the way everywhere where it is like it will affect here as well and here as well because if it is planar and if i will move it away from it so it won't change it and uh, it won't affect the direction of that but if i will change it to spherical and then move it so you can see it will change it because spherical is more like uh omnidirectional okay i will keep it planar now strength how strong you want maybe i don't want it to uh, be very strong maybe 500 okay and then I want, you can animate it, okay? When we will move to animation, so we will see that how to animate stuff. Usually you just have to press this arrow and you will get the timeline and you can create keyframes, stuff like that. Okay, now here we have uh, decay. Now what is the decay? It's from zero to 100. If I, uh, if I go near, you can still see it's the same, far is same. 
But if I will use a decay over here, like suppose 50 value, value of 50. If I will go near, it will be stronger. If I will go start going far away, it will start becoming, uh, it will start decaying the, like your wind, actual, like actual wind. Okay, maybe if I can make it 100, so it will, it will be more stronger. Okay. So if I move to the other side, this side, so it will decay the uh, wind power. So I will make a zero. Frequency, how uh, frequent you want it to react. Like so, uh, suppose if I will make it 25, okay? And maybe more than that. So you can see, the frequency, the speed of it is a little changed here. Okay, so that's the speed of the, the wind, like how it is blowing. So after every 100 seconds or after every 100, uh, whatever this value indicates, like seconds, yeah, after every second is kind of, uh, blows the wind. Okay, now see it is blowing. Now, after 100 seconds, it will decay. Decay to what? To zero, whatever uh, the value you have for the decay. Okay. So right now it is zero, so it will go back to the normal. So after every 100 seconds, it will go lower, then uh, higher, lower and higher. If I will make it five, after every five seconds, it will go lower and higher. Okay. Then lower. And then higher. Okay, so that's what uh, it's it's two. I will keep it zero now, or or let's keep it uh, five here. Here we have turbulence. What is the turbulence? The roughness in the wind. So right now it is thirty. If I will make it hundred, the wind will go more wild. Okay, it will look like storm. It's we are in the storm or something like that. Or if I will make it one, so it's not like a normal wind, like a small fan running off or something like that. Okay, so, th so that's what the turbulence is. Now this is the like direction of the wind, uh, wind itself. Like if I will move it, so you can see they all changes actually. Okay, so you can uh, change from here or you can move from there. So. Wind kind of creates really good effects. Sometimes you might want to uh, wind effect on your clothes. So you can use this, create something like really nice effects. So if, uh, if you like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet, so please do it and hit the bell icon. To support my channel, please watch my videos online and do not download them. Otherwise I won't get any benefit out of it, which will demotivate to me, uh, to, uh, devote me, me to make for the video so please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful but take care guys stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on c interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson then join my z interactive early bird membership plan once you are an active member you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also.